This is what they sometimes call Dixon plots. This is the median, 25% below, 25% above. That was the max up to the highest value, up to the lowest value. How do you make these plots? Say we have these figures, these values. I am talking about four different kind of plates and we counted something one hour later, two hours later, three hours later. The first thing you have to do of course is find out what the minimum value is by using the min function. Then you want to find the 25% percentile. Then the median by using the median function. The 75th percentile and finally the max. But in order to get to your Dixon plot, you need to do an extra set of calculations. Here you take the minimum value, then here the difference between the minimum value and the 25% percentile value, then the difference between median and 25 percentile, the difference between median and 75 percentile, and finally the difference between max and 75. And based on these values you create this. Let me show you how you do that, for it's a little involved at first sight, but I put here all the steps you have to go through. So I'm going to do the whole thing again without deleting the old one. I select my whole range, insert, and you probably want a bar chart. You can do a column chart, but the bar chart is probably more intuitive for this. And you take the stacked bar chart. And that looks like this. I'm taking the label off and put that here so you can compare it with the final result. And the, the first step probably is that you want the series on the other axis. Okay. So you go to the design of the chart. Unfortunately there are so many versions of Excel nowadays. I'm, I'm using the, the 2013 or later version. So you go to design and switch the row and the column. Okay. I know it doesn't look like the end result yet. So now, uh, and, and besides you probably want them in a reverse order. So you right click on the axis, format the axis, and put them in a reversed order. Then we are going to work on all these series of values. I click on the first one. If you do that, you do it for the whole series. If you click again, then you do it only for that one. So don't do that. Set the border and the area to none. Fill, no fill, and the border, no line. Okay. So now we, we don't see this, of course. Uh, if, if you happen to click somewhere else, you still see the edges. So I'm going to select them again, and I'm going to set the border to no line. And now I can't even see them, but they are still there. If I click there, I select that whole series again. Then we go to series 2. We do the same as series 1, but we add a minus y error bar at 100%. So select the series 2 there. Set the border and area to no fill, no line. And you may have to do that again, no line. But you need to add a minus y error bar. That depends sometimes by right clicking, but in this version you have to go to design and add a chart element. And there are your error bars. I can do a percentage. Or I could have done, and that is a better choice, go to more error bar options. And then you have a 
y error bar so we have to set that part uh, we probably want to set it to minus no cap and a percentage of 100 percent and there is your y error bar you can always select it later on again remember you can select that one or you can select a series then we go series 3 that is okay series 4 you probably want the same color that might be a matter of eyeballing I, I'm just trying this one it may not be the perfect match but let's save that time that is series 4 now we go to series 5 we do the same as series 1 but add a minus y error bar at 100% so we set the border and the area to no fill no line and make sure that you click again on no line and add a minus y error bar design add a chart element error bars and go to this section a minus bar no cap and a percentage of 100 percent and that's what we got it doesn't look as swift as the one here so you may have to do a lot more formatting create major grid lines minor grid lines by just right clicking on the bar and you may want to do something similar here add major grid lines and it, it begins to look better and better and better make sure that these borders are stronger so you can see that very well